Hey guys, it's McKenna. So today I'm going to be doing a natural prom makeup tutorial. And this is perfect for people who don't like wearing a lot of makeup, even to prom. Or if maybe a lot of makeup just doesn't go with your look. Like I know my best friend, her dress is like completely rhinestone glitter. So she's doing like natural makeup, so it's not like too much. So whatever your reasoning is, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you want to see how to get this look, then keep watching. I'm first just using moisturizer. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Next, I'm using the um, Professional Primer by Benefit. This really helps to fill in pores and make everything look smoother. So I'm just putting that around my nose where my pores are the biggest and a little bit on my forehead. Next, I'm taking the Wet n Wild um, Coverall Foundation. This is a new foundation by Wet n Wild, and I really like the finish of it. And it's really good for photos because it doesn't have any flashbacks, so I thought this would be perfect for this tutorial because you're going to take in a lot of pictures of prom. Stuff like that. And I'm just using a beauty blender that I got a little wet to blend that all out. Make sure to always blend down your neck. Now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Medium. I'm putting that under my eyes and on my forehead. And a little bit on my chin. Now I'm just blending that out with the same beauty blender. And I always drag a little bit on my eyelids to cover up the veins on my eyelid. Now I'm taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, and this is a highlighter. And usually you do highlighter at the end of your makeup routine, but since this is a liquid, you want to do liquids before powders, because if you layer a liquid over a powder, then it just looks cakey and not good. So I'm just putting this in the same place that I would put um, a powder highlighter. We're just doing it before everything else. So you just put that on the high points of your face and blend out. Next, I'm taking the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and a large powder brush from Real Techniques and just lightly setting my face. So I'll just dunk it in the powder and then kind of knock it off. Next, I'm going to bronze up the face with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So with bronzer, you just want to put it on the high points of your cheeks, like where the sun would naturally hit, so you just look a little more tan. I always use a light hand when I'm doing this because it's very easy to go overboard. <laughs> I also like to put a little bit on my neck and chest. So I'm going to skip contouring today because this is more like a natural look. For blush, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in Celebrated. Yeah, that's right. A good tip to make sure everything is blended out is just go over that with your beauty blender. Just for further blending. I, I don't know. Okay, so now for eyebrows, I'm just going to quickly brush those into shape with a spoolie. Okay, so I just went and got my eyebrows done. I got them threaded by this Indian lady because my best friend made me go do it. And I think they made them too thin. I don't know about you, but she says they look fine, but I don't know how I feel. So I'm just taking the e.l.f. lock-on liner and brow cream um, in light brown. And I'm just using this eyebrow brush and starting at the tail of my eyebrow. I already kind of have like an eyebrow shape, so this is more just about filling it in. Okay, so I realized the camera wasn't recording, so that's great. But all I did was use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyelid Primer and set it with um, the shade Banana Date from the Too Faced Chocolate Shop palette. And it's really important to use eyelid primer 
before a big event like this so your eyeshadow doesn't crease and look all gross. So now for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Morphe 350 Matte Palette. And I'm gonna start with, I don't, even, I don't know if you get, I'm gonna start with this shade for the crease. And next I'm gonna go in with Toffee Crunch from the Too Faced Palette just to darken that up a smidge. Okay, so I got this in a birch box, and it's a sample of the Coastal Sense Revealed Smoky Palette, and it just came with um, these two colors. If you can see it. There you go. These two colors, and so I'm going to use this light pink shade for the lid. Okay, that's more like iridescent white than it is pink. <laughs> I'm just going back in with that fluffy blending brush and blending it out a little bit. Now I'm taking the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm and taking a small pencil brush and using that on my inner corners. Now I'm just curling my lashes with, I don't even know where I got this eyelash curler, but yeah. So before I put on mascara, I'm going to set my face with the Hard Candy Fashion Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. And you can use any setting spray, you can even just use plain water. This is just to take off the powdery finish and not make your face look so cakey. So I just douse my face in this, just soak it all in, girl. Wait for that to dry. So I do this before mascara, just so my mascara doesn't run that's not a good look. So I'm going to be layering two mascaras. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And I use both of these because this one really volumizes your lashes and this one lengthens and separates. So together they're just perfect. work. Now for lips, I'm using a MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy, and I'm just putting that on a lip brush and applying that to my lips. And that is the finished look, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.